Ah, star. Right. What up? What up? What up, y'all? Drink with the fellas. Season two, mm-hmm. episode number fifteen. Mm-hmm. On five, on five. Shout out to Carmelo with that number. Appreciate that. We got a special guest. We got my man Blocker. Blocker. Y'all seen us go live with Blocker yesterday during the live interview when we did an interview with the fellas. Mm-hmm. But today we got my man Block on here, and we're gonna talk sports. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk NBA, and we got a lot to talk about. Blocker. Y'all, we got to go right into it. Yeah. All Star Weekend happened. What, mm-hmm. y- what y'all think? What y'all think? A plus. Everybody said it was the best one in years. I was mm-hmm. highly impressed. I was highly impressed. I like the, the I like the actual determination at the end. I, I really do. I don't like the fact that they won off off a free throw. That's the only thing I don't like. That's the only thing I, I didn't like. I don't like them either. Cause the crowd, you, the crowd was booming completely. How would you change it? What did you do? I mean, no, 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 no fouls in the last two minutes, man. You got win by two. Keep no it straight. No fouls. Yeah, I would, I'd be like, yeah, I. I, I I'll pick it back up. <laughs> you, when you foul, when you foul and let, and, you know, what I'm saying it's down like that to the nitty gritty, side out. Yeah. Okay, so everything on the floor. Yeah. Everything on the floor. Okay. It just makes it easier. Nobody goes to the line. Uh, Nobody goes to the line. I like it. Okay. 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 I, 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 I got it. Like, make, make, if you want to make I it a pickup, I haven't heard that yet. I like that. You gonna make it a pickup game type situation in the yeah. fourth quarter? No free throws. Okay. Every everything. That's a real pickup game. I can do that. That's a real pickup game. I like that. That's that is that is. You better go a bucket. I like that. Ain't nothing what, free. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> the guys that sat on the bench the whole fourth quarter. Were they excited that they weren't playing, or was they excited just to be watching what was going on? I think the competition definitely is gonna make you forget about who who it is, their ego, and you want to. You're excited play. to see the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's see how this. Oh, I got them standing on sidelines that was the whole dope. time. Bro. That was dope. They ain't sit down. They ain't sit down. They and and I'm not gonna lie, watching it. I, you know what I mean? You, of course, you know the first three quarters, but you know Chris Paul said it in the halftime. They they interviewed him. And so, what, what do you think about this? And you know, how, how do you think the game's gonna flow? Just, just she, he literally was like, "Just watch, just watch. I got something for you. We got, we got something for you. Just watch. Wait till the fourth quarter." Can, I want to make a quick side note. I'm gonna go super fast, y'all. So you said they interviewed Chris Paul, right? Yeah. Okay. So right before uh, All Star, it was Thursday night last week, y'all, and we played the Pelicans. Oklahoma City did. ESPN wanted us to lose. So I've never seen. Then want the team to lose so bad. <laughs> Zion had that career high. <laughs> they wanted us to lose. What God. But anyway, I'm going to make it quick, y'all. <laughs> we win. They do the whole Zion career high, career high, and the loss. So anyway, Chris Paul hooping all-star game. They start jocking Chris Paul, and then ESPN have a little segment on how he thriving in OKC. Y'all, side note, let's keep it moving. But damn, yes, man. <laughs> Y'all really going to do us like that. Bro, they went from here hey, to here, fall, bro. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> real quick. Yeah. Real quick. But didn't we talk about that before? Bro, they went like from one end to the other. But they literally want us to lose so bad. So they can say Zion had a career high and took them to the win. All right. Anything else it's on All-Star sport. Weekend? Man, man. I, I think uh, All-Star Saturday night was exciting. Yeah. I like the uh, skills competition. That, that, that slowly, bam! That's yeah. slowly getting <laughs> that's slowly better. Because that's getting better. Oh, uh, yep. yeah, that was that was crazy. Right? That's three crazy. point contest. Three con- yeah. Man, I was so close to winning buddy. my prediction, though. I was so close. Yeah. I caught. Yeah, man, you know, I, I picked uh, 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 Joe. What's that? Uh, yep. I did too. Joe oh, Harris. Yeah, Joe Harris. Harris. I, you know what I mean? I had I picked Devin, man. Yo, Devin. he was playing with a chip on his shoulder. He's like, man, I should have been here. And you always saying. Man, for a losing team, he should have made the All Star. Yes, yes. Look uh, at Trey Young. Trey Young I mean, averaging thirty the, for a losing numbers, team. The numbers don't lie. Let, what's that? What did it say? The, the numbers do not lie. I mean, what is he's at? What 27, 28 a game? That's yep. that book. I, yeah. I, I, well, I was gonna get to this later on. Bradley Beal averaged twenty nine points a game. That's the most points. For a player to not make an all-star team, what y'all think about that? Robbed or justified? I, Block, I've been saying this all year. Fake stats. If I could change, they, they ain't been agreeing with the fake stats. Numbers. So they so fake stats. Man. When you what? So then let's go back and look at his efficiency rating. Let's look at his field goal percentage, his usage rating. It could can if John Wall was there, could he still do twenty-seven a game? No. It, but does it help a team, or is he just? That's my whole point when I say fake stats. You know, if, Let me throw one more. Those, Let me throw one more. I'm gonna get to this later, but we'll, we'll get to it now. One more fake stats. I was gonna ask y'all. Uh, DeAndre Ayton. Mm. He won what? Rookie of the year. Double double machine. 
Is this not Andre Drummond? Is he not already a, a dinosaur? Does, uh, does DeAndre age stats matter? And when I say that, does him averaging 18 and 13 help you in a ball game? Nope, because they don't need him to finish. That's why I'm saying. I don't know where, this, where they do, though. That's my thing. I don't see, know where he fit. You know, you get what I'm saying? No, as good as he is. In today's game, if you can't switch, and at you're least a liability. Affect, yeah, if you can't switch, you're a liability. It, it's tough. To, it's tough to say that. I, I was born in an era where, where it was at least five. The West had six legit centers as their all star as their all star team members, right? Six. So they were starting three seven footers in in the late nineties on the all star teams. Yeah. Like that's never gonna happen. If it does, they won't be centers. <laughs> They'll be guards. Uh, big, uh, big wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think. Like, a, I think the one thing I would change in the All Star game, if, if if it was up to me and I could, you know, change one thing, I would add one more. You know what I mean? To add one more player, you know what I mean? As like a complimentary person, you know what I mean? Just like instead of doing this whole like, you see how they wow. just because There's man, 12 players I, on a regular roster. I mean, wow. I get it, but it's the All Star game. Why not have it? I'm devil's so, advocate just playing. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. <laughs> this is what my change would be. And thank you for kind of sparking this. My change would be this: how they played the fourth quarter. Yeah. Play all three quarters. Play all four quarters that way. They ain't gonna set, do that. Set, set, a, set a set score. You have to hit in each quarter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Set a set score. You have to hit, hit in each quarter. That's gonna make it competitive. It's gonna the, make it look more. The more in each quarter. Yeah. yeah. You. you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's keep it moving, y'all. Do you believe in the Clippers? PG-13 is always hurt. And he sure don't look like that MVP cat from last year. I'm going to cut you up. But breaking news, y'all. Breaking news. The Clippers just picked up Reggie Jackson, and that is a slick move right there. The uh, Picking up that Morris twin is slick, and picking up Reggie Jackson is slick. What y'all think? Let me start off as a Clippers fan. Clip joint. And say that I do believe that uh, Clip City, Chip City, we on our way to number one. But... I kind of, I'm kind of concerned about the log jam. Uh, Marcus Morris needs the ball in his hand, or well, he can move without the ball, the ball and, make a, and make a bucket. But like, it, it, is it going to? Maybe that's why they they signed him. Because one thing I will say is that Jerry West is the smartest mind in in basketball. We see that, and, and because Paul is hurt now, Marcus get plenty of shots. Right. But when Paul come back, how many shots will Marcus get, and will he be happy with that? Um, on the second line, we already can have a ball handler. So what does that do for where, where does Reggie Jackson fit into that? That's why I was weird. I was confused about them saying we want Darren Collison because again we got a ball handler, and then on the front line we got two ball dominant players. Bro, but let, let me throw but this in though, Blocker. When do they play together? Though? That's the thing. You you have two dominant players, but when do they play? Are, are they actually going to show up and actually play in the playoffs together, mm-hmm. or is this a? Is, I feel like this okay. is a ploy. One of them, yo, every week one of them injured. Yep. On some 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 magical whim, oh my hamstring. Okay, and then you know, <laughs> two days later they on the court. Good for Come 20. On. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is why I like that Reddy Jackson move. Reddy Jackson is arguably. Well, let me say this: he's better at certain stuff than Patrick Beverly is. Okay. So you bringing him in and getting a whole different, mm-hmm. almost the uh, the Kyle Lowry Van Fleet thing. Okay. They're good at opposite yeah. things. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can, you can so, run them together and and they can, can play also, totally different. You can have those different dynamics when they are on the court together. Reject and score. You got the same. You got two good points. I like that, man. Look, I like that I'm a never lot. gonna be mad at depth. I like that a lot. Now, you need depth in the playoffs. You need depth in the playoffs. Yeah, do. it's important. You definitely like need that. Beth in the playoffs. What do you think about it, bro? Here comes the Lakers fan. Uh-oh. Oh shit! At the end of the day, you only got sixteen rings. Ding, ding, ding. At the end of the day, we are talking about the Los Angeles Clippers. Okay, the worst franchise in sports. It's you documented. Think they're not building a team that can switch they're, they're, to anything. They're, they're building a team that can compete with anything. They can switch long, everything. They long. They got every spot As long as they stay in the position they're in right now. They the got playoffs. shooters. They got finishers. Cool. I know you got to go to the next topic. But real quick before you go, uh, what's the record of the Lakers versus the Clippers? Anyway, go ahead. All righty. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> quickly, y'all. Quickly. 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 Uh, quickly. Who ain't, who ain't hey, selfies in the Quickly. 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 No good. quickly. <laughs> Is the White House with a Hall of Famer? Quickly. No. Yes. No. He uh what three yeah. time de- three time defensive player of the year. Okay. He top ten in or he top twenty in rebounds. Mm-hmm. He top ten in blocks. Um he he he's nearing what twenty thousand points, isn't he? 
Um, it, once you hit twenty thousand, man, you got to be a, a, a Hall of Fame anyway. Plus, I mean, he's been to. But don't you think? Let me ask you a question. Don't you think we're making the Hall of Fame a little too easy to get in? <laughs> if, easy, if the Hall of Fame was easy to get in, Mark Jackson did. Pause. Should Reggie Miller be a Hall of Famer? Yes. Okay. Yeah, then, yeah. then Dwight Howard. Reggie Miller only averaged twenty points a game for his career. And he was a he was a top level NBA shooting guard. Why? So, because he was a great three point shooter. Now let's go this though. And he still only averaged twenty points a game. Without so Jordan, there, Reggie got a chance to win the ship. Come on, man. The, the famous Howard show. I'm, 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 I'm a, a MSG guy. You Reg, know, like Reg, the famous Reggie Miller. Reggie the Miller the got in he on some great. Win he got him to the finals. He got him to the finals. They were a good team though. Reggie Miller got in on some They were the best team out the East. Yeah, they were the best team out the East. Reggie Miller had one of the best teams in the league. They just wasn't better than the Bulls. I think that's different than what Dwight Howard has. That's just my point. I think opinion. numbers wise, Dwight Howard should. Okay, be okay let's put this question out there. Okay. Chris Webber or Dwight Howard? Chris Webber. Is it who's better? No, who you putting in the Hall of Fame together? Chris Webber. Chris Webber. Chris Webber. Chris Webber, he's done some legendary stuff in, the, in, the, in basketball. Chris Webber still ain't in there. Well, those Sacramento teams was tough and he was, a, he was the best player on the Yeah, and Chris Webber still ain't in there. That's what I'm saying. That is that's tough. And Chris Webber still not in there. And if Chris Webber ain't in there, I'm like, you didn't mind if he is. Yeah, we got to keep moving, Block. We only got three minutes. Right, we got three minutes. <laughs> uh, cousins, I know Block, I don't like this. Here it is. Might be coming back for the playoffs. The Lakers may be one of the biggest teams in NBA history. What do y'all think about that? We got two minutes and 30 seconds. Right? I hate to say this. He'll be injured 30 seconds later. Hmm? Huh? I hate to say it. He'll be injured 30 seconds oh, later. Don't do that, man. Right, I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real. No. I'm keeping it real. I think that one Let me injury. Let see why we can't do that. Get that bad me... Knicks mojo over there. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, man. We, we can't do that, man. We can't do I'm that. I'm just man. saying. Okay, no, look, the reason why I say that. Look, look. The reason why I'm saying that. Is his injury that he that he sustained that Achilles? I feel like he. Don't do that to him. I, I feel like that changed him as a player. Mm-hmm. It changed him as a, a me- mentally. Don't I think he's so him. worried that he just instead of just playing and going out there doing it normal, he he's so worried about, about thinking about it. He gonna wind up injuring himself. That's my biggest well, issue. Do let me let me let me move past the health portion and let's <laughs> let's take a step back to what we just said literally what three minutes ago. But I got a minute and a half. Go if ahead, you, bro. If you a big man. Well, uh, what are we going to do? We about to switch on you. We about to run five guards in Zubats. And so now it's Dwight and Boogie together. What y'all going to run a zone? What's your plan? Like, how are you going to, how are you going, well, who is Boogie going to guard? Is he going to come off the paint? I, it's, all right, guys, just giving you a quick heads up. Corey got this. Uh, you know, this, this is called the Jim Freeze right here, man. It's called Jim Fizz. Oh, man, my bad. It tastes like, like a lemonade. I'm not going to lie to you. It tastes like a straight lemonade. A cool we, lemonade. We shoot it over to Byron's breakdown. Uh, all right, y'all. Kyrie is always hurt. We ain't got to talk about that. Uh, the Cavs coach, what's his name? Beeline. Beeline. I was about to say, man, you mad about that? that he went to the pros instead of staying with Michigan? Quickly, man. I like, I like Juwan Howard over there, Michigan. All right. Uh, how good was Kevin Garnett? Quickly, he was on Showtime. I need to check that out to the interview up at Smoky. Yeah, that, did. Nice. that was, that was good. good. Quickly, how good was Kevin Garnett? Yeah. Good, great, outstanding. He was a great player. He Kevin didn't give Gar- enough credit to Tim Duncan he to did. me. He did. Tim Duncan was your arch nemesis, I think, and he was better. And I think that's and the he reason why he did. I think that's, I think that's the reason why. I was so he mad. Still keeping that rivalry going. That was your arch nemesis. Honestly, and he if you kept me from getting two too many rings, I probably wouldn't be that. Happy Lucky he barely brought him up. Just jump in my nose. Come on, man. He brought up uh, Ain't got more rain man, rain. random power forward, Joe Smith, <laughs> Antonio <laughs> McDice. No, you need to bring up Tim Duncan. Boy, when, 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 when he brought up McDice, when he brought up McDice, I was like, yo, no, really? Joe Smith, yo. Come on now, Joe Smith. Joe Smith, Joe Smith was good at Maryland. He wasn't I, that great. I tell you something, Atlanta, a, a Atlanta. question they missed, too. He, uh, they asked him about his team. We got seven seconds. He said he'd take uh, Jamal Mashburn over LeBron. All right, y'all, let's go to Byron's Breakdown. <laughs>